Queen Knight is pretty underwhelming compared to other Spear and Katar legends. She usually ends up at the bottom of most people's tier lists. I'll start off by going over her positives, then on to why she's considered such a bad character. I'll start off with the obvious. Spear and Katar together is already a top tier weapon combination. Both have great combo potential. Not to mention amazing kill power. Top off great combos and kill potential, Queen Eye also has some really good SIGs. Neutral SIG is an amazing anti-air and kill move. Side SIG, while it doesn't have that great range, it is a good kill move. Spear Down SIG is an amazing edge guard tool. Though its only caveat is the hitbox is at the tip. So make sure if you use it, you have to land it properly. Katar Side Sig is an excellent kill move. But its weird caveat is, if you're point blank in front of the enemy, it'll whiff. Put a little bit of distance and then you'll be able to land it. Next is Queen Knight's Down Sig. It's a nice get off me option. While not as useful in 1v1s, it's very helpful in 2v2s. And then her neutral sig. Berserk! While slow and a bit awkward to land if you just use it raw, it can be an excellent kill move. Queen Knight's Katar neutral sig also gives her a hitbox that covers most of her body, safe for her legs. Queen Knight has a decent stat spread, safe for her speed. She has the strength of Nash and a defense of Sir Roland. Meaning she'll be KOing you pretty quickly, but it'll be harder to KO her as well. A good comparison I like to make is she's sort of the Ganondorf of Brawlhalla. So you're probably wondering, if Queen Knight has good combos, good kill power, and a decent stat spread, why do people consider her to be such a terrible character? Well, remember how I said everything but speed? Queen Knight's base speed stance is 3. That's absolutely terrible when everyone else in the game has a minimum of base 4 speed like Cassidy or maximum of 8 speed like Artemis and Mako. This makes Queen Knight the absolute slowest character in the game and her speed stance only kicks her up to base 4. The reason I make such a big deal out of Queen Knight's speed is because in Brawlhalla, speed meets everything, especially in competitive. Speed's not only tied to your ground movement, but it's also tied to your aerial movement. So if you're off stage trying to recover or trying to edge guard someone, you are by default slower than everyone else in the entire game. I'll run a little comparison of her base stance, her speed stance, and for the hell of it, her dexterity stance to show you just how slow she is compared to someone with average speed like Bodvar. So if you ever want to use Queen Knight in competitive, you have to run Speed Stance. Even then, everyone else in the game has a better speed stat than Queen Knight. Running any other stance for Queen Knight would be pointless. Dexterity, 
if you can believe it, makes you even slower with base 2 speed. Strength, still base 3 speed. Defense, still base 3 speed. And base stance, still base 3 speed. It's unfortunate that most of Queen Nai's problems boil down to the fact that she's just too slow. Even the devs must have realized that she's slower than Molasses. So, the first stance you unlock with her is Speed Stance. When it comes to competitive play and tier discussions, everyone hammers in the fact that while she has a great weapon combination, her slow speed is really the only thing that holds her back. Aside from Queen Nye's Katar and Sig being very slow and reactable when thrown out raw, and the Bart Simpson meme equivalent of, if you get hit, it's your own fault. It's just her speed that's keeping her from being an otherwise good character, compared to other Spear and Katar legends. This video isn't meant to discourage people from playing Queen Nye. If you want to use her, go right ahead. I just recommend using Speed Stance if you want to make the experience a bit more bearable. It's easy to just say a be-all fix-all solution would improve Queen Nye's Speed Stance and make her on par with everybody else, but I want to hear what you guys would suggest in terms of Queen Nye patches. And I genuinely want to hear from Queen Nye mains what they would suggest about fixing this character, or if she's just fine as is. But until then, this is Lightning KO, signing off. Ciao.